Hi, I'm Rocco Steno, and welcome to In the Kitchen with Storymakers. And today I have 10 year old Hildy Leshack. Hi. Uh, hey, Hildy. And you're at author, you're a publisher, you're a sort of detective, you know, and uh, so you at 10, but uh, right, you're 10, right? Mm -hmm. uh, when's your birthday? November 2nd. Terrific. Thank and you. you are the publisher of the Orange Street News. The Orange Street News. So, what exactly mm -hmm. is the Orange Street News? Well, it's a newspaper in my hometown that I started when I was seven years old. So I've been doing it for quite a while now. And it only covers stuff that goes on in my hometown of Salem's Grove, Pennsylvania. Um, and it has around, it's a monthly newspaper, but I also, so it comes out every month. But I also have a website online that I post all my stories on. Um, each print issue has about five or six news stories in it and a fictional short story. Can you give me an example of a story that would be in Orange Street News? Um, well, one of the stories I reported on was a story about a hero dog, which is actually what my first book is based oh, on. Tell us a, a little bit about Hero Dog. So in the real life story, there, so on my block, I got a tip. Someone told me that there was a break-in on my block. And so I knocked on someone's door and I, because I thought it was their house. It took them a while to answer. When they finally did, I found out it wasn't their house. So I went to the police station and I asked about if they knew the address and they couldn't give it to me. So I knocked on every door in the 400th block until I finally found the right door. And it took them a while to answer. But in a real life story, I don't want to give too much away. But the dog actually scared away the intruder from breaking in. Oh. But in the book, there's a lot of more mystery added to it. And it's yeah, so tell us what happens. Uh, there's like a, uh, a crime committed in the yeah. uh, book. And what, uh, what is the crime? So a lot of people are stealing um, sweet treats for a bake-off. I don't want to give too much away, no spoilers, but one of them was actually the cherry pie. Cherry okay, crumb what, pie. Uh, uh, cherry crumb pie, mm -hmm. yes. And that's what we're actually going to make uh, a cherry crumb pie here today, which is a great way to celebrate uh, the uh, ending of the book. After you read the book with mm -hmm. your friends, you can get together uh, with the help of an adult and make a cherry crumb pie just like uh, Mrs. Taggart uh, Mrs. does Taggart, in, yeah, yeah. in the uh, book and you can actually uh, all have a uh, piece of pie and uh, so you are actually writing five books with your dad, mm -hmm. uh, Matthew, uh, and uh, so, and they're all mysteries, right? Yeah, they're all based on real stories that I've actually reported on in my newspaper. Like you said, I'm working on book five right now, and there's more to come. Oh, and you're known in your hometown because of Orange uh, Street News, <laughs> but uh, writing these books, more and more people are learning about you. You were actually featured uh, in uh, Parade uh, Parade Magazine. Which That's all it, really exciting. Yes, which is a insert that's in uh, newspapers and, it, and, and it, the title's Knows for News. But we found a kid-friendly recipe uh, that even I can make. And I'm okay. sure you're, you're able to make it too. And so it has a frozen pie shell right there, a deep dish pie shell found in your supermarket freezer section and it has two cans of cherry pie filling that's Yum. one can in there and we have another can to go in and the ingredients uh, for the crumbs that go on top are brown sugar flour brown sugar flour and Butter. It is a quarter cup of butter. And what I have in here is a quarter cup of butter, which is, that's a quarter cup. But if you put it next to a stick of butter, it's about what, uh, how it's much? It's about half. It's a half a stick of butter. Yeah. So you could either say a half a stick of butter or a quarter of a cup of butter. So without further ado, Hildy, let's get started. So we have... Hey. We have the one can of cherries, and now I have to get the other can, and I am going to ask you to get that 
or we, well, we have that spoon here. Well, you no, that one. Use that one. And can you reach in and start taking those cherries out and putting them in the bowl? Yeah. Ah, you wow. go. Ah. Looks good. Mmm. So we need a tablespoon of cornstarch. So which one do you think is the tablespoon? The biggest one. The biggest one right here. So. This is the tablespoon. I'm going to hand that to you. And cornstarch is right here. We have cornstarch. I'm going to open that up. I'm going to ask you to go in there and get a tablespoon of cornstarch. Now, just sprinkle it all on top right there. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is you're going to hand me that, that back, and we're each going to grab one of these spoons. Sounds good. And we're going to start mixing that up. There we go. We don't want to see white. We want it to all be red. Do you uh, cook at home? Not a lot. Not a but lot. Yeah. yeah but do you, do you eat at home? Yes, I like to eat sweet treats. Sweet treats. Oh, well, I'm so like glad. Like pie. Yes, I'm so glad we're making a sweet treat. You're going to hold on to your sp uh, spoon, and I am going to get rid of my spoon. I'm just going to put that in here, and then I am going to pick this up, and I'm going to move our frozen pie shell. By the way, I forgot to mention that while we're doing this, we have our Kid Lit TV uh, oven being preheated to uh, how many degrees? 425 degrees. 425 degrees. So what, now what we need to do is just kind of push that um, into the pie shell. We need some help doing that. I'm just gonna flatten this out a little bit. There you go, with cherries. It, that is great, yeah, that is terrific. So what are we going to be doing now? Now we're going to be making the best part, the crumb topping. The crumb topping, so I have the bowl, and what do we need? A quarter cup of butter. Uh, okay, and we have that right there. Mm -hmm. And this is a quarter of a cup, mm -hmm. but it's also, what part of a stick of butter? A half a stick. Yeah, it's a half a stick of Butter. Why don't you just toss that in there? Not toss, you could just place it nicely in there. And will it come? Uh, I'll help if it doesn't. Let's see. Did it come out? Yep. Yeah, it's out. Okay, you know what? I'll take that. So uh, now that we have the butter, what's next? A half a cup of flour. A half a cup of flour. Well, that's, I'll hand that to you, and then you can just, and I'll open that. Just tap it in and fill the cup up. It's really convenient to do it on top of the bowl, just in case you spill some. You almost got it. You almost got a fall. There you go. It looks great. There we go. I'll take that out, and you can put it in there. Hilly, we're almost done, but we have one more thing to add, and that is... The sugar. The sugar. Brown sugar. And how much brown sugar? A fourth of a cup. A quarter of a cup. Quarter. Yes, a one-fourth of a cup. Yes, so I'll have you put that in also. You know what? Let's do it over the top. Let's see. And that's okay if we have a little more because it just makes things even sweeter. <laughs> yes. There you go. Hardest part of this whole recipe is mixing the sugar, the butter, and the flour. So it's the hardest part, so you can do it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> here Sounds you good. Go. Okay, here you go. I'm going to keep mixing up the flour, sugar, and butter until it's nice and crumbly. So how does it look? This took a... It might take a little while. It did take a little while, didn't it? Yes. So, but they certainly do look, what do you think? They look like looks crumbs. pretty crumbly. It looks crummy, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. I'm going to hand that to you. I'm going to move the pie back there, and now you're going to kind of spread the crumbs. So I'm just going to spread it till it's nice and even. Yes. Yes. So this might become your, I think maybe you should have a signature uh, dish, recipe, for each of your books. So your, your new book, uh, well, uh, your second book is A Bear on the Loose. So while you're uh, spreading those crumbs, can you tell me a little bit about Bear on the Loose? 
Yeah, sure. So it's also based on a real life story that I reported on. Really? A, a, a bear on the loose was a real life story? Um, yeah. People in the town were saying that there was a bear on the loose, but there's a lot more mystery. It was never found in a real life story, but in the book, there's a lot more mystery. And everyone, and like the bears, like stealing like pigs' food and stuff, and it's really crazy. Well, you I know, don't want to give too much away. Yeah, don't give. No, called spoilers. Yeah, you could just, and then we're going to kind of spread that out. So I would suggest for the bear on the loose that we think of a honey recipe. Oh. Yes. And what do you think? Yeah. yeah. So we'll have to, yeah, then we could have, we could have you back for each book, for all five books. We could have the whole <laughs> Hildy and Rocco cooking show. I think it's ready to go into the Kidlit TV oven. Well, let's go to the oven and I'll help because it's a little hot. 35 minutes is a long time when you're waiting for a cherry crumb pie. You could have solved the mystery in that time. But I think that 35 minutes is up. So I am going to put on these insulated gloves so I don't get burned. Oh, look at this. It looks delicious. I can't wait to have a piece, but it has to cool. So while it's cooling, I'm going to read one of your books. I never would have guessed it. But it's now time for a piece of pie. So I am going to cut into this and we could see if it's as good as Mrs. Taggart's pie. Looks pretty good. So far, this is the hard part too. I got it. Oh, that's one. And get in under it. Ah, and that it that's your piece right there. So that's get a fork for you and a fork for me. And we're going to, before we do that, we're just going to clip forks and try the pie. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Mmm. Mmm. Those crumbs are delicious. That's no mystery to me. <laughs> well, thanks for being here and Thank you. making this pie with me. Thank you. And remember, until next time, solve a mystery. And give a kid a book in any format.